Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Dear everyone, remind me what I said before, sell your XRP and go on if you no longer believe in it. Just so you know, nobody is benefiting from your actions whatsoever. Plus, you'll see most of these same commenters back in a month or two when XRP really takes off. We'll claim that I was right when I warned you. I predicted XRP's meteoric rise. None of my XRP was ever sold. You shouldn't try to persuade someone to sell theirs if you're not planning to sell any of your own. That's my perspective on the matter. As far back as 2022 goes, you know, I've been updating you on the Ripple story, showing you how the community is growing and how the price of XRP hasn't changed despite all this development. Additionally, I warned you in 2020 that the banks are going to fail and that this year will be the beginning of a very huge collapse. This time it's the federal government predicting its arrival. You were forewarned last year by Janet Yellen and the FDIC during the closed-door meeting, when they discussed their inability to compensate you financially. Still, I am the one who lies. Who is attempting to set you up for success in the long run? Me. Whether or if you're financially successful is something I do care about. I hope you get wealthy regardless of how much you despise me. Can you imagine the number of other people who would ever say that? Exactly zero. I care more about you than I do about myself. Because the majority of individuals discussing cryptocurrency online are simply interested in themselves. I mean, I gotta get my shit together if I'm going to start uploading vids every single day. For the simple reason that I would rather you not lose anything, and I value that above all else. For a while there, I was just like you, I'd sit around watching video after video, and I couldn't help but wonder why. I was going bankrupt from all the folks trying to convince me that I would be rich by the weekend. I will reveal it to you immediately. It has been quite some time since you held XRP. Well, I've been holding this position during 2018. Plus, my trust in XRP was unwavering throughout. I increased my holdings of XRPB when the SEC sued Ripple. And you can bet that I continued to do the same thing once the SEC declared LCX to be a security. Once the FCC said that, I bought LCX and Algo. You know why? Because, in my heart, I think all of these cryptocurrencies are undergoing some sort of SEC nonsense, as they cannot realize their full potential without supporting legislation. Holding XRP is like sitting through a movie, as I mentioned before, sitting back and telling yourself, all right, we're going through this bullshit with the SEC right now is what it's like. Believe it or not, it will ultimately bring us to the promised land, where XRP will turn us into millionaires. Even this year, XRP is going to have a wonderful run-up. Some individuals are going to get filthy rich off of it, and we're going to continue on to other people who acquire money that changes their lives. However, it's important to note that all individuals here with crypto holdings desire the identical outcome, just like them. I would like to retire or leave my current employment. I am by your side. However, being patient is key in order to reach that point. It would be greatly appreciated if someone could spare us the opinion that this coin is terrible. We should sell the coin and move on to something else because it is terrible. Along the way, it will be completely unnecessary. You know. I went on a big rant in this video, which I just noticed. It is not something I frequently do. It has been really frustrating for me because this space was never this crowded in 2018 to 2020, not even when the SEC sued Ripple. I don't know if these individuals are paid to tell us to sell this cryptocurrency or to fight over it, but it's like they're living for it now. This time, though, things are different. It only takes one major announcement at this very moment. A significant unfavorable statement. I can assure you, XRP, that many will immediately lose faith due to the indoctrination they've experienced from constantly hearing negative feedback. Finally, I am an optimistic person, on a daily basis. I will provide you positivity, as long as it keeps you going. That's all that matters to me, that it helps you get through the day. People require it from time to time. You know, for the simple reason that you feel miserable sometimes. At work, you didn't do well. As you can see, XRP is falling in price along with the market as a whole. That is something you can't handle on your own. It makes no difference to me. I will always be that person for you. I hope you become wealthy even though I don't know you. 
Almost everyone here is just concerned about themselves. Generates sales. Every day. I witness firsthand how unpleasant people can be and how deeply divided our nation is in the United States. However, there are polarized groups of individuals on every continent. And you never know. Someone may be completely unfamiliar with cryptocurrency and ask a basic inquiry. There has to be a shift because all they hear is bad news. Uncertainty. And FUD. The major institutions want retail out of cryptocurrency. And you know why? Because we're just noise. And I must admit, I witness that din every single day. All over X. We will finally be heard by the institutions when we stop making a fuss and start understanding our assets. Well, that concludes our video. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Muchas gracias. Depart.